Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you a preview of the Fiesta Bowl between the Oregon Ducks and the Kansas State Wildcats. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with Oregon. When you look at the Oregon Ducks in this ball game, you look at a team that can beat you running the football, but what's underrated about their offense is their ability to throw the football. And I think that balance gives teams a lot of problems, not to mention they're one of the fastest teams in the country, regardless of league, whether it be college or NFL. You see a lot of speed on both defense and offense. You look at Marcus Mariota, the outstanding quarterback, De'Anthony Thomas, the explosive running back. So look for these guys to have some success versus Kansas State. The key will be, can they get up to an early lead? Because K-State's offense does a great job of controlling the T.O.P. Now, when you look at Kansas State in this matchup, you look at a defense led by linebacker Arthur Brown. They do a great job of playing assignment football. One thing Kansas State and the Bill Snyder coach football team doesn't do, they don't beat themselves. So they do a great job of being where they're supposed to be, and that's key in playing a team like Oregon. you got to play assignment football. You can't get out of position. You can't lose gap integrity. Now, offensively, we look at Colin Klein. One underrated aspect about his game is his ability to keep the chains moving on third downs and hit big plays in the passing game when called upon. So they're going to have to play their best game against Oregon. They're going to have to play a well-balanced game, and Colin Klein will be asked to do more in the passing game versus Oregon. Deion Jordan is one of those players that just oozes athleticism and potential. When you look at his frame, 6'6", 243 pounds, you couple that with his ability to close on the quarterback, you have to like what he brings to the table as a pro prospect. Can play in a 4'3", also can play in a 3'4", so he has that scheme versatility that defensive coordinators at the next level covet. And for Kansas State, when you look at Arthur Brown, a lot of people want to say he's undersized. To me, if you're good enough, you're big enough. And at the end of the day, football is a can or can't business. Either you can make plays or you can't. And Arthur Brown can definitely make any play on the football field, maybe the best defensive player in the country. Amar Rashad, a.k.a. Bobby Moore, played for Oregon from 1969 to 1971 and quite possibly was one of the best players in college football history. Put up some impressive numbers, was an All-American as a running back and as a wide receiver. Still holds the receiving record to this day for a running back with 131 receptions and finished his career at Oregon with 2,300 rushing yards. Michael Bishop only played two seasons for Kansas State, but he made those two years count. Almost led the Wildcats to a national championship in 1998 in which he finished second in the Heisman Trophy voting and also was a consensus All-American. I like Kansas State in this ball game. When you look at the Wildcats, you look at a defensive ball club and a ball control offense. So when you're facing a team like Oregon that wants to play fast pace, they're going to have to maximize their possessions. They're going to have to score on every possession, and that's just not going to happen versus Kansas State. They will slow you down. They will force you to punt. And K-State's offense is chewing up the clock, running the football, timely passes. I think that's enough to have the Kansas State Wildcats come away victorious versus the Oregon Ducks.